Hey, what's up guys? Tuki here, back again with another quick video in regards to NHL 19 and some of the changes we have seen. This video, of course, having to do with the Create a Team feature and more specifically, the customizable arena as we have seen some changes mainly with the arena audio. I'll get to the positives first before we get to the somewhat big negative of this. Uh, the first thing to make note of, the new goal horn creator. Again, not the biggest thing in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but a relatively cool feature. I've taken advantage of it already. Numerous options. Uh, flares, for example. Uh, what would it be? Like the Tiger Roar goal horn that was in NHL 18 by default. I actually think it's still in this. That would be a good example. Uh, for flares, you just add, you know, your random sound effects and such. I'm not going to play any of them because, man, YouTube copyright can be a hell of a thing and you never quite know... But that is one thing that's been added into the game. Custom goal horns. Kind of nice. Um, on top of that, we have seen quite a few new goal songs added into the game. Some categories have gotten more love than others. Uh, the miscellaneous category is pretty much the same. Classical is pretty much the same. It, it's, it's really the bigger categories that you would have expected uh, to get a little bit more love this time out. But you might be noticing something already uh, when it comes to these uh, when it comes to these options. There are no longer the custom or not the custom, but there are no longer those go-to I would say goal songs. Pittsburgh's uh, goal song Andrew WK Party Hard not in the game, not in the game. Montreal's old goal song that they changed in the past, but was still in NHL 18. That is gone. Chelsea Dagger is gone. So while there are new options, um, even even Kerncroft's gone. So Bruins fans, it's I don't know what to tell you. I'm disappointed, and unfortunately, at least with the Blackhawks, are the only team that I checked. It doesn't play for them on offline either. It's just flat out not in the game anymore. So while we do have some new options, and of course the sound, you know, the songs from the soundtrack are in. As well, had to get that Imagine Dragons song in there. Thank God it's not whatever it takes. That's still stuck in my head from game one of the cup final. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed to see this. Again, not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, and besides, I mean, in an EASHL standpoint, how many people honestly played enough games? I'm sure a lot of you did. I didn't. I did too, to be honest. How many people got enough games in to be able to even have Chelsea Daggers? You hit the song? I don't know. But it is something that I noticed, something that I wanted to point out. Uh, not going to be a game ruiner for anyone. Again, I'm not sitting here being like, oh my god, this is a game-changing thing. But it is something that is different between NHL 18 and NHL 19. Figured I'd point it out. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Again, normally don't make these type of videos, but I'm like, ah, screw it, let's join the fun and not clickbait it. But, you know, kind of. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the hashtag bring back Chelsea Dagger, I'm sure. Some people are going to be very upset.